Good evening everyone. Wanted to show you guys a, a little demo video of the K3NG rotor controller that I had made. Um, this is the TS2000 that I've been using. Uh, still can't figure out why I can't hear all that well, but that's another story for another day. Uh, but the rotor controller I have is based originally on a Yaesu G400RC or G400 rotor. Um, I am still using this rotor to supply the power to the rotor uh, using its transformer and then I do still have the, uh, the two left and right buttons here um, giving power to uh, the rotor if I want to manually move it this way otherwise the dial doesn't reflect where the uh, where the rotor actually is all that is done by a little circuit that I made this is the circuit board itself that I had created for the uh, for the rotor we've got uh, the pins up in the top and the pins in the bo farthest bottom row uh, are for it to sit on top of your Arduino. The uh, terminals over here are to connect to that uh, rotor controller, a couple relays uh, and a rotary encoder and that's pretty much it. The rest of it's in code. Um, you know, there's uh, obviously you know a bunch of traces here and there for everything else. The middle stretch of pins here is for the um, LCD that I have. So here it is right here. It's kind of hiding down here in the back. Uh, but the idea is, is that you turn this rotary encoder and when you turn the rotary encoder it'll actually change where you want it to go and say I want it to head straight west at 270. Press the encoder in and then she'll start rotating and it will go to whatever position you want and then stop uh, and it's moving based on the code clicking either one of these two relays in place which is doing the exact same thing through some wires that the uh, the two push buttons on the rotor controller would be at uh, now the greatest part about the whole thing is not that it'll just stop wherever you tell it to that's one of the best things about it but the best thing about it is the fact that it's connected to the computer and this is uh, this is CQR log running in Linux. The uh, the computer's running Arch Linux at the moment, and uh, and so I want to be able to tell it where I want it to go. Say I'm going to talk with Vince K zero S I X. It'll uh, automatically pop up in CQR log that Vince is at 318 degrees azimuth. I can simply come up here, click short path, and we are rotating to 318 degrees. Now if, and there we are, 317, 318, um, if I had an elevation rotor controlled on the, uh, connected with this, the same thing could control the elevation rotor. I would need a pair of more relays or what have, whatever is required for that elevation rotor but nonetheless it's still uh, still there and still be able to do what it needs to do so that is uh, that is my uh, my humble ham shack if you will a laptop is currently connected to the rig just to be able to have a little bit more of a portable setup and have it separate to uh, to everything should I want to take things out in the field if you will uh, but if we wanted to hook everything up to the desktop we could certainly hook it up to the desktop and here is my desktop at the moment uh, that's not yet being used for uh, for the radio, but it will soon. But otherwise, uh, otherwise that's that. Again, here's my uh, TS2000 that I've been using. Um, and for anyone else to uh, to decide who wants to play with the TS2000, I love the rig. At the moment, I'm uh, I'm not sure how well this one's hearing, but it uh, doesn't have a preamp, and I think that's a big part of what uh, what might be going on with it. Uh, so for uh, for every other ham out there interested this is what I've got uh, any questions feel free to uh, make comments or reach out to me uh, my call sign is Alpha Delta Zero Charlie Zulu uh, you can look up my information and send me an email so uh, very good have a good one everyone